from Indie Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. Hi, I'm WRTV's Amber Grigley. Friends and community came together Saturday to honor an indie activist whose life was cut short by gun violence. Balloons filled the sky to remember a man who was loved and cherished by so many. Ron G. Well, his kids joined many at New Direction Church this morning for that balloon release and prayer vigil. The founder of Ceasefire Indy was dedicated to getting others to put the guns down. But unfortunately, he was shot and killed Thursday at a gas station on 38th in Arlington. He lost his life doing the thing he was trying to prevent happen. So this is something that we see as a tragedy, not just for our community, but for our nation. We see gun violence as an issue here in America, and it takes all of us to try to make a difference. Well, at this time, IMPD says they don't have any suspects. If anyone have any information, please contact Crime Stoppers. John? Mostly cloudy skies around tonight. We'll see our temperatures dropping in the low to mid 60s, a little warmer in Indianapolis, down to 64 degrees. There will be a small chance for a shower from Bloomington, Columbus and areas to the south around sunrise. Otherwise, expect to see mostly cloudy skies through the day on Sunday, both some low clouds as well as some high clouds streaming overhead. Temperature wise, not too bad, especially for a mid to late July day. Our normal high should be 85. We should top out at 83 degrees in Indianapolis. Same in Shelbyville, Columbus and Bloomington and 81 degrees for those of you in Kokomo. And if you're heading out to the track for the Brickyard 400, temperatures going from the mid 70s at 10 o'clock into the low 80s by afternoon. Seven day forecast shows a daily chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Also humidity will begin to increase, so you'll start to notice that more. But the nice thing is temperatures holding pretty steady just below normal with highs mainly in the low 80s.